government buildings in Canada that recognizes Canadian citizens' role uh, as part of the Matt Pat Brigade in the Senate of Civil War. Because, of course, as a nation, we didn't officially take part in that conflict. Now, up above us, we have these flags that flew during those battles. We have a Canadian flag, uh, the BC flag, which is just our shield on deck with us. Uh, for you guys are there, we have the Royal Ensign, that was our Navy flag, that was in 1961. I believe it's still the British Navy flag. But then we've got that up there. This door is really intended for the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, Queen of England and Canada. Now, she hasn't used her door for quite a long time, not since 1987. Uh, and it's not because she hasn't been here, she's been here two or three times since then. Uh, really, it's because, well, it's gone a lot of stairs, and she's getting on in here, she's in her 80s. Uh, she's got bad knees now, so she comes up through the elevator. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, we haven't installed all those sit-down things that brings her on. I think that would be a little undignified. <laughs> Her representative for the province, though, uh, the Lieutenant Governor, the Honorable Stephen L. Point, uh, he sadly has to use this many times a year, about five to seven times a year, so he gets his cardio. Um, he comes in to bring the Parliament in and out of session. They sit for a two-month session in the spring, a three-month session in the fall. Um, he also comes in to pass any laws, to read the speech from the throne, any of the sort of formal occasions when he's required within the building. Um, and I'll be talking a little bit more about his role later on in the tour. Now, it's not just for the Queen and her representatives. Really, any visiting head of state is allowed to go through here. Uh, so the Emperor of Japan walked through here a little over two years ago. Uh, the President of the United States is another example of somebody who would be allowed to go through here. Uh, now, the people that aren't allowed to use this door are, of course, you and I, the Senate. <laughs> um, <laughs> but also the Premier of BC and the Prime Minister of Canada. They are not allowed to use this door. Hmm. Or they're not allowed to have the door open for them, shall we say. Uh, and that's because they are heads of government. But they still serve below the Queen. They are still servants to the Crown. Uh, the Queen still is the head of state for Canada. Uh, and uh, that's not to say that the Premier hasn't used this. Uh, she's actually used this door uh, recently, uh, quite, quite recently, and, and recently often. Uh, but she does so as part of the refugee of the left of the government. So she comes through behind the left of the governor uh, to display that she is still a member of the BC citizenry. Um, so the door isn't uh, allowed to be open solely for her, shall we say. Any questions about any of that? Yeah. Cool. So that means the PM of Great Britain would have the door open for No, no, the Prime Minister of Great Britain wouldn't be allowed to open. That's, yeah, that's a great question. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and then you're referring to civil service as the military people here? Uh, civil servants, uh, this, this is, the civil servants in there were just people who were actual civil servants and who were drafted into the war. Uh, so that's not a, a list of all the soldiers that died from BC, it's a list of just people who were civil servants who served in this building uh, and who then went to war. Yeah, that's a great question. I think technically they, they are civil servants in that sense, um, but they're not part of the civilian uh, service in that way. Yeah. Any other questions? Hmm. No? All right. Now, uh, there's one other thing I'll mention in this room. You, you can see it's a very impressive first impression for people who are allowed to go through here. Um, one of the things I always like to point out are the, uh, the uh, paintings, the murals on the ceiling. Um, I always call them posters, although that is reasonably uh, 
that's a little bit accurate, actually, because they were painted in the 1930s, but they weren't actually painted up there. Uh, they were painted uh, on uh, they were painted on canvas, and then they were pasted up there like wallpaper in the 1950s. Mm. And the reason for that was the person who painted them, George Southwell, uh, was a very well-known artist at that time. He's sort of been lost to history, but he was very well-known at the time, and they didn't want such a famous artist to be standing on platforming so far up above the ground. So it was good enough for Michelangelo, but it wasn't good enough for Southwell. Um, so they actually had painted down on the ground, and they pasted it up like wallpaper. Now, they're meant to represent the four main industries in B.C. So we've got farming, fishing, logging, and mining. Nowadays, of course, it's a little bit out of date. The uh, economy shifted over the years, and that's, it's been a long time. In fact, two of our main economic engines right now in the province, tourism and technology, aren't represented up there. Uh, but these are still considered the, uh, shall we say, the four traditional industries in B.C. These are the ones that are part of our uh, history. They're ingrained into our culture and our identity. Yeah, yeah. Is there, like, Afghanistan? Yeah. No, not yet. Um, a lot of these were put up long after the fact, and it kind of takes a while to yeah. get that out there. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I, I, I would be very surprised if there won't be eventually one for Afghanistan, but there is one. Any other questions? Do you know where all the marble came from? I do indeed, actually. Um, this marble was actually all cut in Italy, uh, so the floor is marble as well. It was cut in Italy, and then it was shipped over around the floor uh, with two master mosaic layers. And they mm. spent about six months putting it down. It's really quite remarkable. Mm. Um, to give you a sense of how extensive this floor was, this off-white stuff right here um, actually said came from the same quarry as they took with Loft that became the Statue of David. Very, very high-quality Carrera marble. Uh, the only stuff that didn't come from Italy is the purple stuff. Uh, that actually came from, what you see, Tennessee. Um, and this is the stuff that they use in Washington, D.C. quite a bit, for example, in the Library of Congress. Any other questions? Mm. No? All right. Let's head into the lobby then.